to talk about administering insulin with an insulin pen. This is the pen right here, and what you're going to want to do is remove the cap and put the needle on. And just twist right on. Once that's done, the next thing to do is prime the needle with insulin. To prime it, you do two units. So I've dialed that to two. We'll take the cap off, and we'll also take this part off, which exposes the needle, and we'll watch to make sure that it is adequately primed. So when you push down on this at the top, you'll want to see fluid coming through the tip of the needle. That way we know it's primed. You do this step any time before you administer insulin using an insulin pen. When priming the needle, if you have dialed it to two and you realize that there's still not any insulin coming out through the needle, what you're going to want to do is do the process over again. So you would turn back to two units and try again priming the needle. Repeat this until you see insulin coming through the needle. Now that the insulin pen is primed and ready to go, we're going to want to set it up to administer insulin. For practice purposes, we'll say that we want to deliver four units. We would turn this knob until you see the four. And now we are ready to administer the insulin. Now that the needle is primed and ready to go, we're going to go ahead and administer the insulin. Lenny is going to help me. We will go ahead and give it in his arm. Now what you're going to want to do is pinch up the skin and either give it at a 45 or 90 degree angle depending on the size of the child. So you just go right in and then once you're in, you push on the top and watch that number go to zero. Now comes the hard part, waiting for 10 seconds to ensure accurate administration and that the insulin does not leak back out onto the skin. 